Hey there, welcome back to the homestead. Uh, more specifically to our soon to be orchard, or uh, working on it right now. So this video has been in the works for a very long time. Um, so I guess, uh, where do you start? Putting together an orchard. Um, first things first, you gotta find somewhere to put it. Uh, the wife uh, kind of drew out the area, our upper area here, and um, we kind of got an idea of where we were gonna go. Uh, some of the things that we did were find the septic field, uh, the leech lines. That way we knew we weren't messing with those or going to be anywhere near that. And then um, decided to go down here on this hill. Uh, one thing that we did have was a lot of uh, shade. We had really big, tall trees here, so took care of that. Came through and kind of dragged this area here, uh, cleaned it out a little bit. Got rid of some of the brush uh, that was in here. Also, a while back, I had ran water lines before I uh, even thought about having a YouTube channel. Started just kind of planning it out. Some of the things to do are, you know, figure out spacing. So we spaced our trees out, they're about 15, um, in both directions. I think we did 20 feet um, this way. We did want to be able to get the tractor in here once the trees were all, uh, their canopy was up, so we did leave a good distance in between. That way we could come through and, you know, maybe go up in the bucket and pick fruit. That would be nice. Hopefully someday that'll happen. And um, just kind of picked out where they went. Uh, we decided to go with a straight line look. Also, when you come in the entry, it'll just be nice to look up the hillside here and see some fruit trees growing. Uh, some of the things that we did, we did dig our holes. Um, some of the things that we learned when we went and got purchased these bare root trees was uh, dig the holes as big as you can or as big as you want. The bigger the better. Uh, we were doing it by hand. We do live on a rock farm, so there was plenty of rocks. So we just dug fairly big holes, about two foot by two foot. And then we mixed in, um, we took native soil and then we mixed in some uh, bulk soil that we had got from the local um, landscape place. Uh, mix those together. Mix it. You're mixing it. I am mixing it. I'm mixing it. And then uh, added some phosphorus down in the base of the hole, covered that up, and are starting to put in the bare root trees. Uh, for right now, we've got, let's see, three two different apples, uh, three total trees now. We're gonna do one more apple once we found it. It was a pretty, uh, the Fujis are hard to find. Everyone wants the Fujis. And then just a medley of peaches. Um, you know, one of the things about a home orchard, you don't need a lot. It's not like we're growing a whole bunch to sell. I mean, at some point we would like to, you know, be able to sell some to recoup some of the costs of doing it. But um, we, you know, we did uh, O'Henry's, Somerset's, uh, we did a donut peach. They're really squatty little ones. They're just supposed to be uh, super, super tasty. But yeah, we're just, we just want a different, you know, I love peaches and we love apples. So it'll be nice just to come down here, pick our own fruit, enjoy it, um, watch it grow. So yeah, that's uh, our, our little orchard. Yeah, just getting started. Um, you know, one of the things when you first move on to a piece of property, I would suggest planting an orchard. I mean, the sooner you do it, the sooner you can reap the benefits. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. Mm -hmm. 